and welcome everybody to another exciting episode of Carla Miller's Box Breakers, which we like to call it CBQ. CBQ. You're just on board now right, for today. It, it kind of comes and goes. You, can, you know, we'll see. We'll see where we are next time. It's chilly in the room today. Maybe that's what it is. That's true. It's like an ice cubed. That's it. Yeah. Roll the intro. As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week, we'll also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. And now as ever, it is time for the wheel of energy. Let's see, what are we gonna land on today? Could it be? I feel like it's gonna be one of the one-offs, like metal or dark. I feel like it keeps it's doing that lately. It's surprising how often it is. Yeah, let's see. Oh, we got Gar Gar salad energy today. Huzzah! That's fun. That means we can change the skateboard. Oh man. Actually, I don't know if I totally mind. I got I got a soft spot for old Leafsters. Leafyon? Yeah, Leafyon, Leafyon. I don't even know what my favorite is anymore. Wow. They're all so cool. I did call it Fairyon just a few minutes you ago. Did, so probably not Sylveon. Probably not Sylveon. Umbreon mm. is ridiculously cool looking. Glaceon has got the whole ice thing, which yeah. also would fit with today's temperature. I think design-wise, Leafyon might be my least favorite. Really? Yeah. Oh, I like the leaves. Okay, I don't know though. Huh? I, I also, I've always liked flare, flares. Big Flareon, I know. But for me, it's just Vaporeon or Umbreon. Okay. All okay. The All the way. These are the clear winners in my mind. When I finally made it to the stage of school where I could use a pen, I just did this all the time. I, mean, I was always blown away by the balance of the pen. It feels like whoever invented the pen really should have seen that coming. I know, it does feel that way. It does yeah. feel that way. Anyway, I am super excited because in the last episode, Kyle showed up out of just absolutely nowhere. And nowhere. Pulled a 40 point card, very impressive, sitting atop that old leaderboard. I and know. not to mention, actually, I've got my notes over here today. Uh, Jackie and Dakota are currently, or Jackinator and Dakinator, currently tied. Uh, uh, not tied, but uh, holding on to both Quality 8th place and the Big Steve Award. Oh my gosh, yeah. wow. Very impressive, very impressive. Well, that's almost certainly going to change uh, not too far into this. So that big 40 pro card was the Iron Hands Illustrator art card. So there are other cards that can beat that just one off, if I am not mistaken. I want to say the uh, alt art for <laughs> the... Uh, Iron Valiant will probably do it, or the uh, Roaring Moon. Those are the two big ones for the set. I can't talk at all. Let's just start opening cards. Today's first contestant is Faith. Faith! Okay, hang on one Faith second. Faith coming in with six points on the day. All so, right. Solid starting spot. Solid starting spot. Yep, yep, yep. Six points. I'm trying to see where that's going to land you in the kind of overall scheme of things. Like, you know, top 30 at least. Bam. All right. So no I'm type advantage here. Oh, we didn't talk about what today's randomly chosen common chase cards are. Oh my gosh. We almost forgot. They are Haunt Edge, Joltik, and Orbeetle. So the Orbeetle is actually going to be scoring double today. Hey, hey. I think that happened last week as well. It so did. it could be fun. It could be fun. I always felt like the Joltik should have evolved into a Jolteon, but instead it's just like a, like a, like instead it's a Galvantula. Yeah, yeah. Galvantula. Yeah, yeah, it goes from like tick to tarantula. Okay, why not? All right, Charcadet, Swablu, Pansir, Wiglet, Rourke, Simpere, Minior, Goldbat, the Minshow! Whoa! That's pretty cool. Great okay. pull right out of the game. Great and the Zatu. Start. Number 200 overall. Let's see what that does for us. All right, the Minshow. Man, that a, what a cool looking card. It is a cool looking card, although not the value you might expect. No? $3.70, so $4 plus Ooh. 5 for the Zatau. 
So, right. so five points overall. So five points overall, going to bring Faith into 11 points on the season. Probably an okay spot to possibly snipe out like a, a big Steve or a quality eighth place, but gonna take some work on that last pack too. Yes, it will indeed, yes yeah. it will indeed, okay. All right, next up we have everyone's favorite, Ben, Rozzy. Backing or the king. The king. Yeah. Uh, we do have our Roaring Moon pack here, you know. So. Maybe. Are you calling it right here? No, 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 no. Just is that's who's on the that's who's on, that's who's on the cover on okay. of this particular pack. Wow. I don't think we've had a Roaring Moon like all season. What's up? Which is that? crazy because in our personal boxes we've pulled like four. There's the Dark Teardrop. We got the Feebas, the Apom, the Galvantula. Oh, there we go. Yeah. The Man Type, but not the not the uh, Joltek yeah, that we're looking for. Yeah, that's what we need. The Counter Catcher, catcher the Absol, the Masquerade will score. The Toxel will not score. The Crustle will score, and, and the, the Paul yeah. yeah. So just, just three, three points. points for Rozzy the King. That is going to bring them to 12 on the season. If my math is correct. You are correct indeed. Bam, there we go. Those are headed your way, Rozzy. Next up, we've got Rachel, relative newcomer to the game. This is only their fourth pack ever, and they only scored two points out of the, their their last pack this season. So, Oh my gosh. So Rachel is literally like, all right, all right guys, She's come like, on. Let's come go. On. This yeah, is it, yeah, because you know what, in all three of her packs, she's pulled a one, three, and two points. So, looking for a more than three point pack. Can this be Rachel's best pack ever? Not the type advantage, we got the Mill Tank, the Wimpod, the Plusle, the Tandem Mouse, the Exploud, Mela, Slitherwing, the, the Joltake will yep. score, the, the Blip will, will score, score, and the Morpeko will so score, three. so still three points. Come on, Rachel, you can do better. Oh man, that's kind of funny. Try on those last three cards. They got there, but yes, I mean it was it was just not looking like much the whole time, and still, yeah, I mean only only three. So we gotta gotta crack into that four point territory at some we point in time. We believe in you, Rachel. We absolutely do. All right, another person looking for a good pack here is Aaron B. Aaron. Who's only got two points on the season at the moment. All right, Let's see. Aaron. Uh, this box has got to have a roaring moon in it. I'm has just, to. I'm calling it. You're calling your shot. Yeah. You know how good I am at this. Oh yeah. How absolutely. many magic harps did I correctly pull? Boom. There we go. Okay. So right we got, away. Got the two times multiplier. We got the Magby, the Flamigo, the Porygon, the Oricorio, the Cursed Duster, the Orbeetle. Orbeetle will score. Wow, that's that's gonna Let's be see. a weird math. Is it like four? Maybe possibly. Yeah, I think four. Uh, Cloth, the Defiance Vest will not score. The Blitzel will not score, and then the Iron, Iron Moth. Moth. So okay. So let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Me, One two. Three times two is six. six. Yes, there we yes go. indeed. Six points for Aaron B. So better than Rachel. We can say that. We can say that. <laughs> Brings uh, say that. Aaron to eight on the season, and you get the uh, Iron Moth coming your way. Next up, we have got Blue Malamute. Blue Malamute. Let's see what Blue Malamute can do. There three is. points on the first pack. Mm -hmm. Three points on the first pack, one point per Malamute. Okay. Owned, because they own three. Wait, what? Oh, they own three. three. Oh, I they see. I see. They own three Malamutes. I, I was like, we're missing some context here. Yeah, duh, guys. Everyone remembers I these. I thought fun it was wordplay, but it wasn't. Yeah. Nope. All right, we have the Glogar, the Blip Bug will score, the Foy Coco, Snora, and Zubstrika, Crocolore, Ambipom, Tinkatuff does not score. Glog. Oh, whoop. Critical hit on the Glygar! Oh, critical hit on the Glygar! And the Espathra. Espathra. So, critical hit, but doesn't net them very many points. Just four total. For a grand total of seven on the season, but you get those double Gligar coming your way. Man, man you're welcome. Man. Actually, in my um, unfinished Arceus Nuzlocke, I have a uh, what is it? A shiny. I caught a shiny Gligar, so I have a um, a shiny Gliscor. Now, okay, this just occurred to me as something we need to look out for is the Earthen Vessel. Oh yeah, I don't, man. I think you're last week right. we didn't. I Maybe mean, we didn't pull any. I, 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 like my mind's eye, it's like, what are the odds of remembering every pack from last week? But like, I literally don't remember. I, know, I feel Earth like we would have remembered it. Okay, well, so yeah. anyway, be on the lookout for some earthen vessels. Yeah, we'll have to, gosh, if we if we pulled them and didn't give you your points, we'll we'll figure it we'll out. We'll catch it, yes don't indeed. Don't you worry. All right, Ethan so will tell us. Sydney Steele. All right, next, yes, next contestant, Sydney Steele has two points on the season. Let's see it. Roaring Moon. Roaring Moon. Roaring Moon. Ha, 
That's a good, good one. one. Okay. All right. So we got the old uh, electrical there. The Pantage will score. The Minin. The Snow Rump. The Knackle Stack. The Ancient Booster Energy Capsule. The Orthworm. Professor Turo Scenery. Lyle Dread will not score. Dewblade will not score. And the Wochan oh, will score Wochan. twice. So three points. Three for points for Sydney. Three no points. Roaring Moon. Uh, Boo. That's okay. okay. Wochan. It's okay. okay. It's fine. You know the thing is, yeah. is that we can't possibly make a big deal about Roaring Moon the whole episode and the cosmic fates not listen and allow one of them to be in here. Exactly. <laughs> Otherwise, people will be watching the entire episode like, man, they kept talking about Roaring Moon and they never got one. I know. Like, we, we honestly don't know if it's going to happen. We can only hope. All right, next up we have got Andy, who last season, the season seven, put a 38-point card, but uh, in their last pack only got two points. Okay, so, so. so 38 plus two would at least tie you for first. So, yeah. you know, if you, you can just, just do better than that. Just, just do your best again. Yeah. And you'll be in first place, or tied for it at least. Got it. No problem at all whatsoever. Bam. Okay, so no type advantage today, but the Toad School will score. Toxel, Spinda, oh, Nimble, Nimble will score. score. Yeah, there we Tatsugiru, go. Tatsugiru, Gorgeist, Vanillux, Tandem Mouse, the Simi Sage will score, and the oh. Broslas EX will score. So lots of grass. That's grass, too. That is so. grass. Okay, yeah. Make sure we get the extra point in there. So okay. 217. Overall on the set, do you have any feelings about this particular card? Uh, well, the fact that it's full art makes me feel like it's going to be like maybe like better, but still process is only okay so i'm thinking like three points or something you're exactly right wow yep yep so let's see here uh it's gonna be two dollars and eleven cents we'll round up to three so, so three plus one for the grass is four five six seven seven total so there you go. seven points not too bad gonna bring them to nine on the season who was that for that was for aaron or andy, andy. sorry okay there we go and you get the full art frost last so no matter what pretty cool card I like the art on that one. Got that terrastal look on it. Terrastalized. Terrastalized. Means you can't get damaged on the bench. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. I know. All right. Next up, Jamestown founder John Smith. Or colonist. I don't know. I wonder if people <clears throat> confuse you with other people frequently. Or if or if you ever tell people your name and they're like, okay. But, but for real. But for real, what's your name? No. For next, real. next up, John Smith has six points on the season. Favorite Pokemon, Mew, Mewtwo, Darkrai, Lucario, and Dialga. Some of those are in the set, so. There we go. Okay, okay. Let's Toad see what's going on. Yeah, the Toad School will score right on that. The Vanillite, the Chore Cadet, the Swablu, Luxurious Cape, the Cyclozar, the Simi Seer, the Durant Durant will not score. Oh, the, oh, the Age Slash. Slash! Look at that! That so totally cool. will. Okay, we'll check that out. Oh, and then oh, the Brute Bonnet. Bonnet. Man, that, I feel like the, the art on this guy keeps getting me. I'm like, <gasps> no, okay. Yeah, okay. no, I thought it was going to be like a double whammy right there, but it's just the Age Slash. But people like Age Slash, and that's pretty cool art. So that could be a few extra points for you. Three dollars seventy-five cents. We'll round okay. up to four. So four, or five, six, six points total. Six yeah, six points total. That's six point pack back to back for John Smith. There we go. And an age slash coming your way. How exciting! Bam! Throw that over there for you. All right. Next up, we've got drawing hearts, which means drawing you have hearts. to draw yeah, another heart on your scorecard. As it, you're gonna end up needing to like squeeze the scores into like the tiny little folds here. I know, right? Like running out of space pretty quickly. With how big? <laughs> you, I mean, you're really committed to the hearts. They're they're quite large. There we go. All right. I mean, you know, the, you gotta you gotta draw what you feel, Ben. That's right. Yeah, that's All right. right. Next up, right. they've got two points so far. Uh, is it me? Me or you? I, I think it's you. It's me. You. All right. Here Why we not? go. Drawing hearts. I got your back. We're gonna pull something huge. I can feel it, definitely, for sure. No doubt at all. This is the one. This is the one. I'm putting this a lot of pressure on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dark Jr. Job, here we go. We've got the Han Edge, the wrong Han Edge. Oh. Horsey, the, the, the direct Jolting. Jolting yeah, 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 that's right. The Natu, the Snorlax, all the Tinkaton, the Durant Durant, the Turbo Energize, the Vanillox, and the Glycopod. Like I said, this is a terrible pack. You shouldn't think too much about it. It's just two points again. No big deal. No two big point deal. back, back to back for drawing hearts. That's okay. There's always next time. There's always next time. There's always next time. You know what it was? Is that I backed out of the commitment. That's true. This, I like, this feels. I, hedged. I want to say. I want to say the 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 scale hands. Yeah. It, they fe it feels it feels like a dense pack. It well, feels like it's packing something. All right. So we're moving on from drawing hearts to heartbeat. Heartbeat. Ooh ha ha. Exactly. Okay. How is heartbeat going to do? Right now he has four points. All right. Let's Ooh, the see. Rock is pummeling. The rock is pummeling. Good All right. Got the Plusle. The Dotler will score. The Toxel. The Lipard. The Mien Shao. The Rika. The Gorgeist, the Ambipom will not score, mm -hmm. the Fuecoco will not score. Oh my oh, gosh, the, the hand scales were just off today. Not feeling it. So just two for Heartbeat. Two points for Heartbeat. We haven't really put, we put a couple of like illustrator arts, but nothing crazy just yet. 
Well, it's still early. It's still, it's still early. early. We got a lot of packs to open still. I just got excited, man. I know, I know, I no, excited. I understand, I understand. All right, next up we have Vincent. Vincent. He is this like he breaks drones? Break dances. Oh, oh. he breaks drones. I was like, oh, is that like you just like constantly are crashing them because you're such a wild drone pilot? No, just break dances. Me and you have both crashed a drone. It's true. In, in a rather unrecoverable way. Yeah. Well, yours was recoverable, but it was never usable. It was. Mine, mine just went into the river and was gone forever. We did insure them though, and that paid off. That did pay off. So do insure yeah. your drones if you have one. Oh gosh. Elicate, Vanillish, Onyx, Tinka Tink. Defiance Fest, Veluza, the Velta, Will Score, the Luxury is Capable Not, and the Age of Slash again. Man, okay. Just two, so points. Just two points. Well, typically Salad Energy scores a lot of points, but this must be like a light grass set. It must be. I feel like maybe on the heels of the 151 set where it was like very prominent, yeah. maybe it's sort of like, all right, let's, let's, let's like reel it in a little bit. I know. Show some others, like Dragon some love. I don't <laughs> even know why they keep that type in there. There is it's like, one Dragon type. It's one Dragon type. There's no Dragon Energy. There's never Dragon types in anything it's just like what what are we what are we doing here people why are we sticking with this it's for gym leader challenge man let it go <laughs> ben is anti-dragon i know well i mean i love dragons i just wish that they would either go for it or not go for it yeah and just like where's the dragon set it's like i'm sorry but they're just not going for it all right next up we have tyler gillies who has an identical twin brother he has three points so far this season okay okay let's see some dragons let's see some dragons Let's see some dragons. Here we go. All right, so we got the fireball energy yep. for the Panseer, so a big fireball pack. Yep. Uh, we got the Wiglet, the Gligar, the Blitbug will score, the Crobat, the Roarark, the Minior, the Knackle Stack will not score, the Porygon 2 will not score, and the Chien So just two points. Just, a lot of two point packs this episode. Two point packs. I know. We did have a really good box last time, so maybe we that's really why. Did. But I'm sorry about that, Tyler Gillies. Up to five on the season for Team Fire. Boom. All right, next up we have Matthias who has got 12 points this season, so off to a good start. If this is like just a medium pack that could really put themselves in a good spot for eighth place or Big Steve. Yes, yeah, both of those. I mean, Big Steve has 20 points on the season, so 19 points on the season. So nobody currently has 20, so that would be like the spot to land in. Rock is pummeling. Let's see, Remore, Pumpkaboo, Zubat, Gimme Ghoul, Steeny will score. Medical, Ooh, Earth Earthen Vessel, vessel. There, there you go, there's the two point card. Swablu, the Drachi is not there, and the Bombardier, which okay. I wanna say is Bulk EX, but we'll double check it. We'll double check it as per always, just for safety, it's not worth chancing it, 156. Is going to be fifty-eight cents. Mm -hmm. So four-point pack there. Four-point pack for Matthias. Uh, yeah, Matthias. Yes, Matthias, and we'll uh, sleeve up your Bombardier EX there coming your way. I, I feel like I want to call my shot on this being our our Big Steve winner for for the season. That Just, was I like mean, a medium pack. It's a medium pack. Sixteen points. Looking for twenty. It feels like a four-point pack back to back is easy to achieve. That does. There's a lot of back to back. People perform consistently often in this game. They do indeed. They do indeed. So oh we got, we, got, we got old Beck Squad. It's Beck Squad. What is he up to this time? Uh, Beck Squad has had such a storied history in the game. Uh, five points last pack. Let's see what he's got today. All right, we're about to find out. Let's see, let's see. Code card aside, we got the Dark Teardrop, which feels like it's showing up like always. And last week, that was our type advantage, I, I believe. So there we go, the Elekid, the Tinkatuff, the Trubbish, Professor Sada's Vitality. Dragon type. Dragon type, look at that, Tatsugiri. Uh, the Dunduzo, the Dewblade is not gonna be scoring for us. The Steelix will not score for us. Oh, and then oh, the, the Mouse. There we go. Mouse, mouse hole, hole, sorry. Yeah, number 155, although that does seem, again, like it could be Dude. In that bulky X territory, number 155, 98 cents, so wow, damn Wow, barely, right, barely missing it for one point. But you did get- And a 98 cent one point, so not I a know. very good one either. Not yeah. that it mattered, because they already had five, so not really in last place contention. Wow, sorry, Beck Squad. So Beck Squad. Either way, I mean, nothing. There's never a sad day when you get a card that needs to be sleeved. So, exactly. You, you know, got, like, you got Mousehold. Like, Mousehold's like right. one of the cutest new Pokemon ever. Just purely adorable. There you go. Um, let's see. Next up, we have Shadow Loop has uh, two points here, and I did make a note that um, they can do better. <gasps> oh. Next to their last point, so I forget okay. the context for that. But let me just say, you can do better. You can do better. All right. And today let's will see. be that better. We're about to find out. We're about to find about out. To out. Come on, I believe in you. Come Shadow on, Shadow Loop. Loop. You can Come do better. On. Then two points? Yeah. Come on. Don't prove me wrong. There's a... All the, all the two points you're saying. Oh, no, they're like, like wow. thanks for throwing me under the I bus. <laughs> There's the water energy. Charconac. Flittle. Trubbish. Give me a ghoul. It's not looking good. Iron bundle. Technical machine blindside. Oh! Give me a ghoul? Oh, yes, it's a critical hit! 
We got a critical hit. Okay, we got there we a go. Critical hit, but it's still just oh, two points. Oh no! my god! Wow. Maybe I do better again. Right. Maybe I do better Maybe again. Right. Do better in caps this time, so you really get the message. There we go. This is gonna be hilarious next month. I know. This card again. And don't remember any context. Oh my gosh! I feel so. They got the critical hit. It's almost like they did worse because they still only got two points with a critical hit. It would be hilarious if that's the context of the first time. I know. It, 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 like, it wouldn't even surprise me if like they pulled the Porygon and had the double on it. Yeah. Because you know, it's worth five cents, so yeah, it's like the it's lowest like... value card. So there's literally an, a common Porygon in the set that's worth more than the rare por Porygon. Wouldn't it be set. funny if Grudon was their card last time too? <laughs> That would be like, so be funny. quickly becoming their least favorite it's Pokemon. Like, well, I hate Groudon Groudon forever. is dead to me. I'm Kyogre for life. I hope that on some level we are influencing people's interest in oh, the game. If, you know? if, if a Pokemon has become your favorite Pokemon because you pulled it on the show, or vice versa, something is your least favorite now, please let us know in the comments. Yeah, we absolutely That would be fantastic that. to know. All right, next up we have Narwhal King. Narwhal, Narwhal. So Another two-pointer. I didn't write do better on this one, so... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Must have been a much more acceptable version. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there we go. We got the teardrop energy. We got the Fue Coco, the Snow Rod, the Hone. Wrong on edge. Yeah, wrong one. The Horsey, the Simipore. Good man. If this was a water type, I know, man. The, the Zebstrika uh, will not score. The Cockalore, the Toad Scroll will, will score. Um, the Flittle will not. And the Zekrom. Zekrom. Another so. two point pack. All right. Our well done. Pack. Well, yeah. Way to go. Way, way to, to go. go. Playing up to your potential. What, what's worse <laughs> is watching somebody get the do better call and then pulling two points and them just being like, okay. Right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like, oh, wow, you expected two points from me. I know, yeah, I know. Like, we just have a lot of faith in Shadow Loop. That's, that's exactly it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, boy. Now, here we go. Jupiter Fox is up next. This is our first last place contender for the day. Last point, they had one point, although it didn't write down the cent value, so maybe it was a higher. Uh, value one, whoops, one point pack, but doesn't matter. Either way, if they can pull a single point out of this pack, no one else, nobody did it no last one did week. It, so, so we, yeah, we don't have anybody with two packs and only two points. So now yes, right, dark here drop. Yep. Here we go. We want no scoring cards, basically at all. Mind who, Parasite. Kaibal, doing great. Uh, oh, oh, the, the Simi Sage. Sage. Oh, and the Pearl went to double. Oh my gosh. Critical okay, hit. Yep. And then the horse, no, for a second I thought we had a double critical hit. And then the Iron Jugulus. So it's oh, actually going to be a man. four point pack. A four point pack for Jupiter Boy. Fox, who's just going to blast their way clean out of last place. So now, now best of luck to you in that uh, Big Steve race, the quality eighth place race. Or hey, why not? Just go ahead and pull just the go, Roaring Moon and go first. Go, go giant. Get that alt art Roaring Moon. Someone's got to do it. Someone's got to do it. It could be you. It could be you. We we thought we thought someone was gonna pull the magic card, but no one ever no did. No one ever did. We never pulled it. Come on, you guys, do yeah. better as a group. <sighs> as a group. All right. All right. Next up, we have Kyla Ren. Okay. Yep. 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 Let's see. Now this says is Carp Girl. Just kidding. Ah. That'd be amazing, though. That would be amazing. If you know Carp Girl, if you know a girl who fell into a pit of carp. As a child, please once, let us know. Once upon a time, we we're are looking for. We her. are looking for her. There we go. We got the got the electric energy. We got the crustal. We'll score. score the onyx, the flittle, the nicket, the tulip, the Veluza, the Chantal. the Age of Slash will not score. The Exploud will not score, and the Kingdra. So there just a go. two point pack for two you there. Two point pack for for Kyla. Not to be confused with Kyle, who is currently our overall leader with forty points. Forty points. No one has come close to dethroning Kyle at all. All today, but I feel like the best pack is yet to come. Yeah, no, I mean we're I feel like we're in like the middle stage here yeah. where it's like like anything seems like it can anything go is possible. Store. If it was me and I was at the store, I would want one from the middle, not from the front, not from the back, from the middle. From the middle. And talk to the guy and be like, yo, put it back. Give me the middle pack. All right, next up we have Brick Frog, who's got four points so far this season. Let's see, what do we got, Brick Frog? Brick Frog reminds me of Crazy Frog, like the little character from the Crazy yeah. Frog's name could be Brick and it wouldn't surprise me in the slightest. That sounds right. Masquerade scores counter. My son Luke loves the Crazy Frog videos. And just so we can watch the, the frog. Oh, we got another critical hit here with Knackley and, and on the Zacian oh, though, so just, so just another. Four points for Brick Frog. Oh, there you go, that is two four point packs back to backs. There we go, okay, okay. A lot of critical hits today. A lot of critical hits, a lot Not of Not a lot of like energy multipliers though. Not many type advantages thus far. Until it's gonna get big, until someone's gonna get like 80 points or yeah, something. That, exactly, yeah, exactly, exactly. All right, next up we've got Chris. Chris. Here we go, training for his first marathon. Oh man. 
Or, well, was. I don't know when that was. I was I, probably back from season four when we got the card. Probably so. So I remember those days. I trained for a marathon last year. Did wow. it. It hurt like heck. Yeah. Was very difficult, but look at this. Boom. Oh, yep. as soon as we say it. Could yep. this be back? Oh, and, and the, the jolting. Jolting. Wow. Wow. Feels Nazi, like a good pack so far. The Raid, the Pumpkin Boo, the Amber Palm, the Snorlax doll, the Tinkaton, the Flamigo, the Tandem Mouse, and oh, oh, the Tapu Coco! There we go. Here okay. we go, and on a multiplier, and it's a full art, so this could be, I mean, I don't know how good, maybe like eight point, I don't know. Yeah, we're at $2.42, so, oh, so three points three, for the Tapu Coco. Four times two is eight. Eight, okay, okay. Called it. And who is this for? This is for Chris. Chris! So they're up to 12 on the season. Which again, okay. that's, that's, that seems fair, like Big Steve. Definitely like Big Steve potential. I can yeah. absolutely see that being in contention. And of course, as ever, I mean, there's always just that possibility. You just kind of completely yeah, you get something massive. And, yeah, yeah. Either way, you get the top of Coco. All right, next up we have Stefan and Susie. Stefan and Susie. Stefan and Susie collectively have four points together. I think it's your pack right here. They okay. love CrossFit and Pokemon, so let's there we go. You know, uh, let's pull them something big here. Sounds like we would get along. I bet. I bet yeah. we would. Stefan yeah. and Susie. You know, if you're ever in the area, you know, and you see us, <laughs> just be like, hey, what up? Yeah. CrossFit, Pokemon, me too. Yeah. All right, got the Knackley, the Nimble, Nimble score, score, the Yamas, the Spinda, the Future Booster Energy Capsule, the Garboder, the Screamtail, the, the Dwebble will, will score, score the uh, Galvantula will not, and then the Latios. Latios boy. So one, two, three. One, two, I, man, three. This would have been a good for eyeball energy kind of day. It would have, but instead it's not. Instead it's not. Instead it's kind of like, you know, just like whatever. Regular old boring. There See, now Latios is a dragon type, but even when they print them, they're like, nah, make it psychic. You know? Make why, 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 yeah. why add more dragons to the That's mix exactly when it. you no. could make them their other types? Right, right. This is this is what I'm saying. It's like, I, I don't have any issue with the dragon type. I just don't feel like they're actually using it. Oh, Ben. Now we have Lando Mando. Lando Mando. Am I up? Are you up? I think I am up. You just okay. opened that Latias. Okay. So, okay. Okay. Lando okay. did great in terms of last place first round. This is our next last place contender. They've got one point right now. Okay. At eight cents. So if anybody can get a repeat spot. performance, this is the time to do it. Let's Eyeball see energy. It. Here we go, Pampor. Nope. Oh, that's the Boon Sweet. Yep. Will anyone do it this year? I know the oh, Toad, Toad Scroll. Oh my gosh, the Porygon, the, the Artillery. Oh, oh, the Parasol Lady. Wow, so not even close, not really, even in close. the end. Yeah, let's see what let's that see. does. For we us. pulled the Illustrator Parasol Lady, did we not? This is now the full art one instead. Yeah, yeah. so this is going to be worth $8.30. Wow, 9, 10, 11 points, actually. 11 points for Orlando Mando. Orlando so Mando. Maybe, maybe they were like, I'm supposed to get one point. One point. One point, and they were like, one, one, Wait, 11. Oh, man. Many. Whoops. I accidentally pulled a really cool card instead. Uh, there you go, though. You got the parasol lady. Well done. Up to 12 on the season. Hopefully you get like 10 in the next pack. That's right. That's right. Let's see. Oh, Ben, here we go. Next up is Mark Mark, who Mark. was a... Uh, rookie in their last in the last episode, so this just, is only their second pack ever. Just three points. Yeah, yeah just three points. So let's see now. Uh, who who Kyle was a rookie uh, this season as well, and they came out guns blazing. They did indeed. So let's did see indeed. what Mark Mark can do with pack number two. All right, so we got the Zubat, the Gimme Ghoul, the Purloin, the Mean Mianfu. Yep. The Durant Durant. Oh, the Earth and Vessel. Will that'll score. be two. The Medical Energy. The Mila will not score. The Wiglet will not score. Oh, oh the, the toxicity. So not nothing. Yeah. Looks a little bulky, if you ask me. Bulky X there. Let's I haven't known anyone to play Toxtricity at all. All right, so 60 cents for the Toxtricity. Yeah. So three points overall. Three. So the Earth and Vessel is actually worth more than your Toxtricity. Yeah, there we go. All right, next up. Oh, Return of the Mods, man. It's Emily Stock. Emily Stock. Here we go. Is it me? You? I can't even remember. I can't. You go ahead. Why I'm not? Go. You, you can pull for Emily. Yeah, so I think, um, I think in our. Is this the season? Yeah, let's see here. Mots, that's right. Okay, so Mots has 31 points. And Doe yeah. has 35 points. But then Dakota still bottoming out for the mods. Right, yep. So yeah, just another Emily, mod. I know. Emily here has only two points so far. Uh, let's see how she does. So lightning bolt energy there. There's the pouring on two, the artillery, the goal bat. Let's see it, Emily. Cyclozar, Professor Tur, a lot of trainer cards in this one. Snorunt, Charcadet, and oh, oh the Garnacle. Oh, it's a single. It's our first one point back of the day. Oh my god! Oh Emily, what Poor are you Emily. doing? Emily, just like no. Oh, well, better luck next time. Emily's best pack ever is was a twelve point pack back in season four. Oh man, man. yeah. So this Emily is really upholding the, a, the mod the curse. Mod curse. Yeah, but it's okay. We will break the curse eventually. We will. We'll get there. It's gonna there. happen. 
All right, let's see. Next up, we have got Kelly K. Kelly K. Kelly K sounds like a former Survivor contestant. I was literally just thinking the same thing. I don't think that's true, but there's a lot of Kellys on that show. Yep, yep. It's you guys watching this season? It's I'm been fire. Bananas. Yeah. And very fun. Get us into. A oh, speaking of fire. Yeah, there we go. That's the exactly. Go. Summoned exactly. it. Summoned it. All right, so we got the Tinka Tink, Tanda Mouse, Dwebble, the Webble, scores. the Whimsor, the Iron Bundle, the Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn. Yep. yep, there we go. The Cursed Duster, the Plusle will not score, the Nicket will not score, and oh, the, the Thievel. Well, I got the Nicket and the Thievel, but it's only two points. Just two points. For Kelly K there. Yeah, there we go. Whoop. Go ahead and throw that over here for you. Enjoy your Thievel. Boop, boop, boop. All right, next up we've got Tex. Tex. Tex with two points, two point Tex as I like to call them. Man, I was just literally thinking about our trip to Texas earlier this year, this yeah. morning. Yeah. Specifically the brisket that we ate. Oh, oh man. Dude. Made me hungry for some brisket. Ah, uh, no, that place is so, where is it? What is it called? Terry Blacks. Terry Blacks. Terry I was like, Blacks. Bl Black, Blackstones? No, Terry Blacks. There it is. Yeah, All right, yeah. water energy for Tex. Apom, Pants Angel score. Gabite, again, dragon, but they went raucous puddling. Why would they do Mantic, it? Mantic, Screamtail, Devolution, Explode, Professor. Oh, you got the cool uh, extra effect on the Professor Sada there. Ooh, the Absol like and <gasps> the Hoopa. Hoopa! Yes. All right, number 98 on the set. Let's take a quick peek. See? Go. Looks, uh, looks like bulk to me. I don't know. It does, yeah. It's our second one of the season. <laughs> Not, or 88 cents. We'll round up to one. Oh. oh. So just two points on that pack, but you do get the cool Professor Sada's vitality there. And uh, like you get a, you get a sleeves card anyway. There you go. Yeah, yeah. I mean, never, never like, like I said. I mean, you know, anytime you qualify for a sleeve, it feels like you know that's worth something. Worth something. All right. Next up, we have Jess. Jess. Jess, who was another former big time rookie. Yes. Her, if I'm looking back in season three, her first pack ever was worth 231 points. So that's insane. That's better than Kyle. 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 Okay. Uh, Kyle over there sitting on the like, on the. What did I do? <laughs> Come on! Thanks for calling me out. Hey, what up? <laughs> Just be more like Jess, Kyle. <laughs> what else could I have done? I know, Kelly, what else I'm currently to do? winning the season. I know. I got the Pharaoh Seed, the Gaibel, the Pampor, the Blitzel, the Steamy will score, yep. uh, the Gly score, the Absol. The Trubbish will not score. The Magby will not score. Oh, and there's Golizopod. See, see, Kyle. <laughs> there yeah. we go. Yeah. Not that the Golizopod is going to be worth more than a point. Yeah, no, just a single point no, for that one there. Just a single but, point. But yeah. as ever, a sleeved card. So two points for Jess. Well done. Coming your way. Four points on the season. Enjoy. Boy, Jess and Kyle are about to have some big beef. I know, I'm yeah. I mean, if that rivalry continues at all, it's definitely getting written down. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> all right, next up is Ariel Stormboard. Am I up? Yeah, I think so. Okay, I'll go. Why not? Maybe, I don't know. Sure, yeah. Doesn't, you know, we'll just gotta keep it random. Uh, Ariel has got three points so far this season. Eevee is her favorite Pokemon. Where is Eevee back there, right? Over there? Yeah, right over there. Sort of see it. got an Eevee on set. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. All right, we got the Rockus Rock Pummeling Pummel. Energy. Solid. Always love that. We got the Dew Blade, the Surge scores. Shit, yep. The Magby, the Flamigo, the Orbital will score twice. twice. The yeah. Grolf, the Luxurious Cape, the, the Boot Sweep will sweet. score. Oh, the Goldingo! Dang! Look at that card. That's oh, amazing. Man. Wow. Oh, that is and the Deoxys, dude. Okay. This is the. This was my chase card for the set. I wanted that one so bad. Oh man. What a great pull. I love it. Look at this. We got a new leader. Oh new no new way! He's got a new leader just like that with that, that Pokemon number 1,000. 1,000, the Goldango. What Man. is it at? Okay, $39.80. So we'll so round up to 40. 40. So 41, 42, 43, 44, 45. 45 points. 45, for Kyle. For Ariel Stormboard oh and her God. dragons taking over the top of the leaderboard, forty-eight points oh, on the season. The gold bingo. Look at that card; it's so good. That oh, is sweet. I love this card; it's so fun. I mean, this card. People want this card to be playable. So far, it's been like kind of meh. It's very fun. Its attack is called Make It Rain, so it literally just like you know rains gold down on people. Nice. Either way, there that you would go. Be extremely painful due well, to the density of gold. Indeed. Yeah. 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 But maybe worth it due to the value of gold. Just imagine tungsten's falling on you, except heavier. 
You guys know about tungsten. <laughs> of course, yeah. I think Tungstango. Tung tung is tungsten? Tungsten might be heavier than gold. Maybe, I don't know. We yeah. were just talking about it on the podcast earlier. Yeah. <laughs> Next up is Alyssa, who's got six points. Boy, did we did we call that uh, the best pack hadn't been pulled yet. You're right, you're right. Now absolutely. it might have been, Alyssa. Sorry about that. But maybe not, you never know. You never maybe know. Maybe it's just back-to-back -back fire here. Let's see what we got for you. Oh, Bam. no, back well, there fire. fire. There we go. Yeah, so, one nothing. That's the Surf Skittles right there. The Wisma, Flamigo, Manchow, Ricka, Screamtail, Wimpun. Oh, oh the there swablu. is some fire. The Swablu and the Palkia. I love to see it. I've been number nice. 15 on the Let's set. Let's see what we got. It. That's just an adorable card. Swablu hanging out with some Wingull there. Okay, so not too bad. $4.32 for the Swablu. There you go. So, so five, five, six, seven. Seven points. That's pretty solid. That yeah. brings them to 13 on the season. That's so. another strong contender. For, yeah. for either Big Steve or the quality eighth place. Very so. good, very good. All right, love to see it. There you go, man. The last two packs have been great. Oh, the gold dango. I'm so jealous. I know that's a good one. That's a good one. Jay has been talking about that one a lot, so I, I'm sure that he just deep inside is like, oh, all right, so been me. Next up, we have Jeremy, who I'm pretty sure scored eight points. If I can read my own writing, last this feels, time. This feels like a fun game. You and I should join the fold. Just oh, like have our own, <laughs> have our own. <laughs> <laughs> for ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> what does this one feel like? Oh, yeah, this one, this is, yeah. this is the rare People one. People would love that if we would. Oh my gosh. We'll but, be keeping the box. Yeah, right. Okay. So we got, <laughs> the, got the multiplier. Got the, yeah, there we go. So the Boon Suite, and then the Phoebus, the Apom, the Pan Sage, Sage, the, the Simi Sage, Sage, the Norman, the Orthworm, oh, the Earthen, Earthen Vessel. vessel. Look at this. The Look at this Mister pack. The Capsule and the Volcanion. Look at that. Both of the reverse rares were, in, were ancient cards, so you got like the cool effect on them. That's that, so yeah, cool. Yeah, it's a super cool pack no matter what. So one, two, three, four. Four, five, six times two is twelve. 12. Man, Whoa. way to go, Jeremy! Uh oh, Ben, that puts them at twenty points. Oh, the hey sole owner of uh, the Big Steve Award. Oh at the my God, Jeremy add Big Steve, but the problem is he's gonna score at least one more point. It's one more point. Oh, Very Jeremy. tricky, oh, Jeremy. We're gonna have to keep an eye on you, sir. But there we go. What a great pack with the double ancient reverse hollows. That's very fun. This has been a good, you know, it's just turning into a good box. It slow a, start. Yeah, slow start, but, but we're a strong there. finish. Next up we have Lauren of, um, let's see, of her mom was on Wheel of Fortune once fame. Oh, yes, of course. Everyone, yeah, that Lauren. There's many on here. I, it feels like the type of thing, like, you know, when you meet Lauren for the first time, or Lauren, when it's you for the first time, and you're meeting somebody, how long does it take for that fun fact to come out of the woodwork? That's you just sort of keep it in your back pocket. Type advantage right here. It's just like, like a, yeah. anytime someone's like about to one up, you're like, my mom was on Bill Ford. And it's like, ah. Oh. <sighs> I'm not sure what to do about that. Minin, the Dew Blade. Let's see. What can we get a multiplier on here? The Mellow, the Gorgeist, the Slitherwing, the Vanilla. Let's get something. The Lipart. Oh. The Iron Moth. The so Wasted just Type Advantage. Two points for Lauren. Wow. To six on the season, I'm afraid. Oh, oh man. <laughs> not going to do it. Not going to do it. Although so far I think it is our leading Lauren. Oh, uh, Lauren, B, Lauren B. Lauren B. Lauren B. has thir three points rather, mm -hmm. if I can speak. Uh, and Lauren with an O has three points as well. So I mean, okay. pretty hot raise for the Laurens. There we go. All right, next up we've got Dragon. Dragon. Hey, so, look at Dragon. Hey, a Dragon. We still haven't pulled the Roaring Moon that I promised we would. You promised it. Yeah. You promised. Do you think there's any chance there's a Gold Ango and a Roaring Moon in the same deck? It could be just like regular base Roaring Moon EX. That would yeah. be fine for you. That would be yeah, fine. Okay. I think that would be. Perfectly acceptable. <laughs> All right, so we got the eyeball energy. We got yeah. the Porygon, highly mm -hmm. valuable. Oracoria, Toad the Toad School, School the Vanillite, the Cyclozar, the Simi Seer, the Crobat, the Thievil, Will Score, oh, in fact, go. the Nimble won't Will Score, and the Ting Lu. Man, we so, might have missed the Thievil earlier on that then. We may have, unless yeah. it was the rare card in that set. Which I, oh, I, I, think, right. it I think it was. I think it was. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. one, two, three, four. Four, four for Dragon. Four for Dragon. Four point pack back to back, but no dragons in here. Unfortunately. All right, let's see. Next up we have Blue Suede's hated rival, Dalton Green. Dalton Green. Wow, so I've been hearing these guys talk smack backstage a little bit sometimes. Oh like, yeah, absolutely, duh, yeah. I, mean, I mean, the knuckle cracking is like mm, almost excessive. It's it's bad. There, there have been like warnings that like something will happen to like sometimes. the, the I've joints. Seen some, I've seen some of like a little neck crack sometimes. Ooh. Yeah, it's oh, getting man. spicy, y'all. I used to be able to neck crack and I can't do it anymore. Yeah, well, you know who can? Dalton Green. Probably. 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 In my, in my head cannon. All right, there's the poor. Oh, for Dalton Ring. That's hilarious. 
Cedra, Magby, Vanilla, and Professor Sada's Vitality, the Minion of the Crackler, the Zekrom will score, the Toad School will score, and, and the, the Porygon Z. Oh, so yeah, that would have been a good last place, sir. I can't remember how Blue Suede did earlier, uh, or Blue Swede did earlier in the match, but uh, we were at six points so far. No, it was Blue Malamute is who I'm thinking of. Oh, here. you're right, okay, yeah. okay. They're not part of this rivalry. <laughs> But uh, that's going to bring Dog Green up to six points on the season, and it's going to bring us to our last pack of the day, Bubsy. Bubsy! Bubsy. Ooh, and now Bubsy has an opportunity to go for last place here, because they've got a single point on episode one. Okay. So let's okay. see it. Let's see it! Or the Roaring Moon. Nobody's been able to pull it off so far, so it would be almost just equally exciting to see somebody take a strong hold of right. just last place proper. So Gabite, Mantike. Minon, Dublin, nope. the Toad Scroll, Score, the Screamtail, Technical Machine Devolution, the Roar Arc, the Spothra. I'm will okay. score. Yep. Will score. And the, the low, low kick. kick. So so one, one, two, three, three for Bubsy. Wow. Flying out of last place is Bubs. Unfortunately. And Unfortunately. that's going to do it for the number of packs we have today. No one pulled the Roaring Moon! Come on! Jeez, you guys. Goodness. But we did pull that Goldango, which was amazing. Well done to Ariel Stormborn. A bit of, bit of fire. A bit of fire. That was very yeah, exciting. That was very, very exciting. Good, yeah. uh, we had somebody take over the Big Steve place yep. officially, officially, which is very cool. Still nobody has, has been able to get through two packs with just two points. So Last place, wide what, open. What's going to be very interesting, yeah, is like, it's, it's like there are still plenty of people who can still They'll like be in contention for that in our next two episodes. Yeah. But what will be uh, extremely interesting is that if we like crack into the threes all of a sudden. Yeah. Can someone um, do it three times? Right. Yeah. I know. Yeah. So then, it, then it's gonna be really, really interesting. Yeah. Uh, so be sure to stay tuned. If you are interested in having us open a pack for you in the future, you can do so by heading over to patreoncom Gaming and selecting any of the box breakers tiers. But otherwise, until next time, Hariyama. <laughs>